G'day everyone, and welcome to Vipers Gaming. Thanks for joining us. And today we will be playing Mass Effect Andromeda. And in this episode, I decided we're going to go do the vault first. So this one's going to be another long episode, unfortunately, because the vault's quite large. And after that, for the following episode, we will go and rescue them, Moshai. Okie dokie, let's head out and do the ENS receiver, and then head down to the vault. I'm reading a temperature decrease. That's one receiver placed. People here should get the latest from the Nexus now. As you probably notice, I usually avoid those big creatures we just fought because they take so long to actually battle and they're very slow and can't really catch up to you. So half the time it's just worth going around unless you really need to. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Life support is back online. 
So, time for the second vault activation. Well, third, technically, if you include Habitat 7. Okay, Remnant Vault. Let's get this place up and running. Life support failing. Seek safety immediately. Environmental temperatures are within acceptable limits. Life support is back online. Oh, I forgot you have to race and actually um, get the shielded areas up and running prior to um, exploring anything. I'm reading a temperature decrease. The ambient temperature is normal. It's like riding the escalators at the shopping center when you're a kid going up and down for fun. Okay, Remnant Vault. Let's get this place up and running. Well, we turned the power on. You'll need to locate the console to activate the purification field Pathfinder. Pathfinder, that will affect your shield. Ambient temperature is normal. <laughs> I'm reading a severe temperature drop. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Stay alert. There'll be more. This could get ugly. Okay, so the hardest enemy for the remnant. The remnant destroyer just down there. Get ready to fight! Life support systems are in peril. Life support failing. Seek safety immediately. Y'all's hurt! systems are in peril. Life support failing. Seek safety immediately. What do we have here?
Life support is back online. And right there is a nice easy way to get skill points in order to upgrade your character. I don't need any more than what I've already got, but for your stage, if you're following through from a fresh save when you originally at the start of the series, that is definitely worth doing. Temperatures are below freezing and continuing to fall. The ambient temperature is normal. last of them. purification field. You may want to sweep the area. Before this place tries to kill us. Clear. Okay, we'll do some exploration through here before we do activate it. See if we can, what we can find. Might even find some rem tech. I'm not sure. are below freezing and continuing to fall.
mission's decisions. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Extreme cold is detected, Pathfinder. Several interface connections converge here. I will highlight the ones you need. From what I recall, we have to race to do these. Make sure our difficult. health is um, as high as we can get it prior to doing it, because uh, obviously our life support doesn't last very long in a condition hazard two zone. Temperatures are below freezing. Wonder what that did. This looks valuable. Life support levels are critically low. Environmental temperatures are within acceptable limits. Alright, let's try a different combination and see what else might pop up. Life support is back online. Life support systems offline. Life support levels are critically low. I'm reading a severe temperature drop. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. <laughs> Alright, I think I've had enough of exploration of this for now. Let's move along. Severe temperature drop. Okay, get ready to run. Here it comes. Go, go. More hostiles.
Never gets less terrifying. Let's get out of here. And if you now notice, we can walk around the vault without nearly freezing to death. Pathfinder, air temperature has increased by 13 degrees since activating the vault. With the reduced cloud cover, solar energy will escalate dramatically. Our people can start a life here. Alright, I'm going to leave the objective there on the far east to much later as a surprise for people. We're going to head back to the main encampment and then we're going to get off this rock finally. Temperatures are below freezing and continuing to fall. Life support at 100%. From this room, we oh, keep track of our brothers and sisters in the field. You don't win a war without good organization. An impressive surveillance system. You have questions? We found Talvor out in the field. He didn't make it. I see. And that would explain why my comms didn't reach him. And why our data mines went dark. Here. His data pad was intact. It should have everything you need. That's Talvor. Always thinking ahead. Even at his end. He was a good man. Thank you, Pathfinder. I think I have enough info. If you need anything else, I'll be here. Okay, before we do the Moshai mission, we are going to actually travel back to the Nexus and gra um, hand in those points. Temperatures are below freezing and continuing to fall. And do some conversations on the Tempest. Environmental temperatures are within acceptable limits. Shal says Evra is waiting for your call, Pathfinder. You have new email at your terminal, Pathfinder.
Nuh-uh, -uh -uh, no peeking. I'm putting the finishing touches on my personal project. I thought you said it was on the Nexus. I'm just perfecting the final component here. Or should I say, trying to. Several of the crew have offered to help, and I keep politely declining and ushering them out. So, thank you for retrieving that critical piece of Remtech, but kindly, stop digging. I'm naturally curious, and I'm sure the crew just wants to bond. Curious is good. Builds anticipation. I'll leave the bonding to you. Not my style. I realize it must be hard being the Pathfinder and not being able to know everything. But there's so much you can do that no one else can. It's safe to say that you, my friend, are one of a kind. I hope I'm not just your latest cure for boredom. Me too. Don't worry. I doubt I've seen all your bells and whistles. But no more distractions. The next time you're on the Nexus, my project will be done. Come by, and I'll unveil it. Now, if you will, please leave me to my own devices. Yet another reason to go back to the Nexus. Should have seen it. Perfect drift. You know we've got a finite set of Oops. tires, right? Looks like our Pijak friend got out of his cage. They'll be fine. Well, what's the Rooney, point of having them there? The exercise will probably do him good. Did you hear the news from Eos? Asari refugees showed up at the outpost. Only a few, but that's better than none. Bradley says there's an officer in charge, Hidaria. She could know where the Ark is. We'll head to Eos and see what she knows. Good. Rumor says Sarissa Theris was on the Asari Ark. Exactly who we need. Who's she? Probably the best commando strategist alive. Her biotic shields saved hundreds at the Battle of Kirkus. Apparently, Sarissa's acting as bodyguard to the Asari Pathfinder. She's probably got a plan out of this mess already. Well, someone's a fan. No, I... I just like... Look, we need someone with her experience, that's all. Is military strategy really what we need out here? Someone has to protect the Nexus. Can't afford to turn away allies. When you're ready to look, we can catch Hidari at Prodromos. Wouldn't mind tagging along. The Angara were super curious about the ship. A few were pretty bold. Asked me questions. What do you make of them? They know their shit. Quick-minded, sharp. They'll make good allies. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. One hell of a trip this is turning out to be. Hostiles. Ruined worlds, no home in sight. Everyone's getting toasty. There was a two hour argument yesterday and no one even knew how it started. That's not good. Luckily, I have the perfect way for people to unwind. Movie night. Taking a breather for a good movie? I could get behind that. Best part is, it doesn't need to be good. Still get mileage out of the bad ones. It's worth it to jumpstart everyone's pioneer spirit and all that. The Tempest database is pretty dry. Could you download a movie library from Nexus Ops to see what I've got to work with? If I have time. Thanks. Everyone will appreciate it. And let's see how our strike teams went.
All in all, I'd have to say they did pretty well. And I completely forgot, we don't have to go back to the Nexus to use our science points. So let's have a gander what we can actually unlock. Okay, so essentially why I did that is we've now got access to an extra consumable slot. Had to do a previous unlock to, in order to actually access it. So, and now with the grey market one here, we can now access the special inventories from the merchants once we get the next nexus point. And honestly, it's only 44 AVP away, so it's not much. So, for our next two points, our initial ones are going to be market dominance for the special inventories and merchants, which allows us to buy the Cobra RPGs. And once we get a little bit more viability on EOS, we'll unlock this one here, Versatility, which will give us the last consumable shot um, in, uh, spot for our character. The only thing we need to worry about after that is unlocking the extra parts for our weapon creation. So, and I believe that'll actually end up appearing in science, I believe. So, yeah, when that happens, we'll be able to make some new weapons for our playthrough. All the mass readings in here are normal. Human fast ball, maybe. You get the class room exam here. I hope not. Hmm. Got it. Suvi, that extra mass is behind the storage room bulkhead. Behind it? It looks like a construction mech welded right into the hall. Scanning the parts has activated an audio log. I think I know what that's about, Ryder. Come up to the bridge. You're taking the Angara, old man? Strong, honorable survivors. Been a while since I encountered a new friendly species. Last time was the human. You're not Harry. The blue give it away? Habitat 7 was a little more action-packed than Harry bargained for. He decided to spend his retirement years on the Hyperion looking after your sister. Happy to have you, Dr. Tapero. I'll do my best. Now, hold still. Ow! Sorry. I remember you having a gentler touch. 
Still trying to get my bearings. Thought I'd be waking up colonists, not taking care of the Pathfinder. I couldn't be in better hands. I just stabbed you. We all have off days. I always hoped to work in the field, but everything's happening so quickly. Focus on the positive. It helps. I guess this is my opportunity to study alien species firsthand. Getting a cat specimen aboard the Hyperion would be difficult, but here... Uh, what? A cat corpse. For autopsy, I'm, a live subject would be better, but I'm not greedy. Why do you care about the cat? Harry didn't tell you. I'm a specialist in alien anatomy. My thesis on Krogan virility and aggression is what got me in the initiative. That's a very... specific topic. I grew up on Omega, lots of Krogan mercenaries. The best habitat outside Tuchanka. But we were discussing the Ket. An autopsy could teach us potential weaknesses, average lifespan... Right. Just something to think about. Sam, make sure the Pathfinder eats his vegetables. So how's that? Vold is already at 100% viability, and that's before even EOS, so we're doing really well so far. Okay everyone, we'll leave it there for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you'd like to be notified the next time we have an episode come out, make sure you tap that bell notification icon. Thanks for watching everyone, and until next time, see ya!